Yeah, back to Tommy. He did a great job. I mean, uh, that everyone on the team loves him. I mean, he's I love that kid. Um, how he handles his business day in and day out when honestly everyone at the end of last year thought he was going to be gone. Um, you know, media, he, no one on our team would have faulted him if he left because he has that ability and he, there were opportunities for him to go somewhere else and for him to stay and then be able to come in and take advantage of the opportunities that he has and, and be successful. It, it just shows, you know, what having that kind of mentality is. You, you never know when it's going to pay off, but eventually it does. And everyone loves to see a guy like Tommy have those moments where his number is called and he's able to go in and have success. That's what it's like when he comes in in that sort of line package. But then when he's filling in to the you know, quarterback spot like he did today, it, it's even more, um, I guess, fulfilling for, for everyone else on the team just to see him have that success. And, I'm sure it's fulfilling for him, too. Trace, when you went down on that sack, what was your level of concern that it was a bad injury that wouldn't allow you to come back? I, I really wasn't sure what happened. I just you know, kind of knew it hurt, and I was just kind of letting the doctors figure it out from there. You know, I was just trying to stay as calm as possible so they could evaluate it and all that. You looked like you were really trying to warm up a lot on the sidelines after you, to try to get back into the game. What, what, how did it feel like when you were still on the field, and, and why was it better after that? Yeah, they just kept saying keep it loose. That was the main thing. So I you know, stayed on the bike as much as possible. Um, and then again, I just had to get comfortable running and, and cutting and all that kind of stuff. So that was one of the things they just kept harping on, was just continue to try you know, do as much of that as I could in the spare time that I had. And then once I got on the field, I was able to actually test it in real game action, and, and it felt fine, and I was good. So. Trace, Pat Pat Fryer, how bad did you want to get back in? Uh, I, I wanted to be in there. Um, there's nothing more that I wanted to do. I didn't want to sit there in my uniform and not be playing. I mean, if I was going in my mind, if I was going to be dressed and ready for the, playing for the game and my uniform, shoulder pads, all that, I was going in. And I, you know, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to not be in there and that kind of stuff. I want, that's all I wanted was you know, to be in there. It's you only get so many opportunities to do that, and there's only so many opportunities left uh, in Beaver Stadium. So. Yeah, I, I wanted to you know, just take advantage of every moment. If I could play, I was going to. Jay Trace said in here that he didn't want you to be a one-dimensional quarterback, mm -hmm. and he asked you, you know, I don't want a pro-style quarterback out there if you, if you can't move like you usually do. So you're, you're a competitor, and you always is going to want to play and always yeah. going to say yes. Can you be honest with yourself in that situation? Yeah, I kind of had to be honest with him and myself, and part of it was just having to go out there and, really tested out. I mean, running on the sidelines, I felt all right. I felt like I was cutting decent on the sidelines, but I wasn't really going to know until I got out there. And I think that was part of it was... Why? I, you just... It's like, you know, you get into a game, you don't necessarily know how things are going to happen until you actually go in and, and test it. You know, you, all those sort of things. You can draw a play up on paper, but you never know if it's going to actually work until you get the game running. And that kind of stuff. So it's just that same sort of thing with, you know, being able to go in and and actually see it you know, come to fruition. Also, you've never been in one of those tents, have you? No, I never. What's been. it like in there? <laughs> I mean, there's really not much in there, honestly. It's like a, a table, and that's about it. So it's not a big area. It's you know kind of cramped, but it's, it's kind of joking. You know? no, yeah, it's 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 no, not either. Uh, Trace, winning a tough game here at home after the last month or so, how much will this help the psyche of the team going forward? I'd imagine it would help us more. You know, two games in a row now, or We've had, let's be real, we had four games in a row where we had to finish, and you know, the first two we weren't able to, the last two we were. And I think that just continues to help us more and more, the more we can actually work through and finish games out, and now we just got to work on <laughs> offensively finishing it on our terms and you know, being able to run that four-minute drive. We did a good job taking time off the clock. We get that last first down, we probably can you know, kneel it out, and, and we'll be good. What's up, big guy? Love you, babe. But yeah, so that's just kind of one of the things that we just continue to grow and learn and we'll just continue to get better at. But I think it's good for us to have now two in a row where we're able to finish out and then come out with the win. What happened on that handoff, the one that was fumbled down there after you got down to the nine? It was, it couldn't, we couldn't quite see it. Yeah, there was a lot, of, I think there was a lot of stuff going on in the backfield. Um, part of it was there was, I think, a lot of congestion kind of spooked Miles maybe a little bit and he said he thought I was pulling it and all that. So I think that's one of the things that we just, We'll get corrected and get cleaned up. There's really not much to it. We, we can't let that happen, especially down there. We're in a close game. We're 
we were up 10, I believe, at that point, mm -hmm. and you know we were able to, if we were able to go up even 13. I that's think a you big were difference. four. Yeah, yeah, you, you would have been a three three possession. Yeah, it would have been a three yeah. possession game, which would have been huge. So. Yeah. Um, we can't let that happen down there. Have, There's really no excuse. Have you ever been in a mad scramble game like this where it looks like <laughs> no one's really in control of it? Can you think of a game that anything like this? I mean, not really. I think that was that's one of the good things about today is that we're able to just you know, come through on, on the positive side end of one of these games. Is you know you just keep fighting and like you said, we we gave them too many points. They had a pick six, two safeties, and all that kind of stuff. So we got to be cleaner as far as. You know, not letting that happen, but our defense did a great job of just staying firm. And they, there were times where they would get drives, but defense did a great job. You know, bend, don't break sort of mentality, and they did a really good job of that today. And you know, all credit goes to them for their build, their performance today on, on defense and just sticking through it. When you Trace. came back, it looked like you had a brace on the knee. What's the difference playing with that? Have you ever played with a brace at any point before? Yeah, I mean, my first two years, I had one one that was just kind of okay. a policy that kind of we had. It. All the quarterbacks wore one, okay. so it wasn't more so like a injury, you know, a being hurt type deal. So I was kind of brought back some not so great memories of that, <laughs> having to deal with that. But um, it was one. Of, it's it, it's a little bit restricting, but in the circumstances, it's probably for the better. Walk us through the, the short. Go ahead, on. You play with it again, you think? Or? We'll see what happens kind of this week. I'm, I'm not really going to go out and say how yeah. what's going to happen. Walk there. us through the, the, the call. Um, it was a short yardage play, and they had a cover zero, and they had nobody back, and you had the keeper that went all the way down the sideline. Um, did the play come in that way? It, it looked like it did. Yeah, no, it was, that was it. one of the plays we had schemed up to when we got that look. That's one of the things we were going to run. We kind of had it more of a goal line type run, but they gave us that look in, in that spot. and. Coach Conda and Line did a great job collapsing it down, getting the kick out, and I was able to just, like I said, run straight. And then DeAndre did a great job just blocking downfield. Once he saw me come through, he kind of turned his head and just shielded the guy off and gave me a lane. You had to stretch out with speed there. Is that when you, you knew the knee was okay, or did you know before that? I felt confident that I was going to be you know okay before that, but that happening, I think, it was definitely like a confirmation okay. type deal. Trace, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looked like late in the second quarter when you were on the sideline testing that thing out. You took the moment to go meet with your dad, yeah. who was bending over from the. What was that? You don't have to get too personal there, but what was that interaction like? Was that necessary for you? And, and how did that? Did he call you over? Did you reference him? And um, no, the first one that came down was my sister. She just said, you know, you got this. And then a couple minutes later, I saw my dad down there, and I just kind of went over, and he was just. You know, telling me, hey, you know, I love you, I believe in you, you, know, you got this type deal. So um, it was it was huge for me because he's always been the guy that I lean on. And when things have gotten tough, been able to you know, be my rock, that, that's who my dad is to me. And, uh, it was just in that moment, uh, him being able to come down and say those words were huge. Before he told you that you were going to be okay and take care of it, did you have some doubt? Did that alleviate some doubt for you? I think it did help alleviate it. Um, I mean, I was more at that point just focused on you know, keeping it loose and trying to get to the point where I could test it out. And I think it was like that wasn't long after it happened, so that was kind of all. That was more so what and going on in my mind at that point was just get it loose and be able to test it out.